Hey everybody, <laughs> it's the boss lady here. Hopefully by the time you see this, I will be back feeling 100%. But right now, I'm going home. Well, I think so. Let me wait and see what these people are doing first. Um, My vertigo popped off. Uh, it actually, and I didn't even put this in my Sunday folder, or folder. <laughs> You know I work at a school. I didn't put this in my Sunday video that I um, wasn't feeling well. I woke up Sunday morning and I was able to make it to church. You know, no problem and everything. So I was happy about that. But, um, whew, let me tell you. Mmm. Sorry, I'm just trying to get my wits together. <sighs> my boss is outside. She welcomes students every day. <sighs> I'm like, she a good one, cause honey, it's cold out here. It's 34 degrees, but it's frost. Anyway, so I woke up Sunday morning and um, I just felt like, oh, right? I mean, nauseous, everything, but it was early, and oftentimes my vertigo does hit early in the morning. Um, yeah, it hits early in the morning. So I went back to sleep and I just slept, and I didn't think about, oh, you should probably take your medicine. So I didn't. Well, then I made it through all of um, church and everything. Um, I ate a little something after church and then I rested to kind of a little nap and when I woke up again it was back and so I was like oh my goodness um, and husband and I we had went to the store and literally he had to like I was doing fine and then as soon as we went to walk outside I couldn't I couldn't just I couldn't and so he literally was like holding me up and guiding me to the car so I could sit down. And I was just like, this is crazy. So when we got back home, I did take my medicine and I went to sleep within an hour, if that, 30 minutes of taking my medicine and was out. And you guys know I suffer from insomnia. So I'm up throughout the night. Even though I woke up in the middle of the night, I still, I didn't stay up like I normally do. Like, I woke up, I think I was editing a video or something, um, which at the time of this recording, I didn't even put the video, I haven't posted the video yet, I haven't pushed it live, so I'll do that when I get to the house. It's 8.30. I literally worked an hour and left. Seriously, I kid you not, like, I'm out. I told my, I'm, I'm look, I'm going do the best I can, but I'm out. Anyway, so I, um, whew, Lord have mercy. I, um, took my meds. I woke up in the middle of the night. I was up long enough to edit the today's video, Monday's video, which was uh, my happy Sunday. And then I fell back to sleep. And then I slept. And then I could tell when I slept that time. It was a good, it was like one of those sleeps where, you know, you wake up, you drool and sleep. Yeah, too much information, but I'm just telling you. And I was like, okay, as soon as I got up, when my alarm went off, as you can see, my hair look a high mess. I got a headband on and everything. I'm like, I look like, yeah, I don't feel good. So when I got up, I, um, and I'm only going home for a few hours. I'm going back to work by 2.30. Even though they were like, you don't need to come back, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, well, I got to get my child, so, <laughs> you know, so I'm going to go back, and I'm going to work 2.30, 3.30. Um, yeah, because we have five subs in the building, and so I want to be there to, you know, exit out my subs, collect my keys. Anyway, the dedication, girl, dedication. Anyway, um, got up for work and I was just like uh, I was in the bathroom 
I was trying to do my hair and every time I would like touch my head, my head would go like this. And I would try to, you know, I was trying to finger comb my curls and then my head would spin like this. I was like, whew. I said, every time I turn around, Lord have mercy. So, literally I was in the bathroom like, ugh. I didn't know if I was coming or going, like seriously. <sighs> so I got um, one of my lemonades. This lemonade is a different one. Strawberry pineapple lemonade by Snapple. I don't really care for it. I just tried it to try it, but I don't really care for it at all. So, um, yeah. But I, I was drinking it because, you know, it is a lemonade, and I was hoping that I could um, settle my stomach and stuff. What is this work truck? I'm sorry, you know, I see, see, I don't be home during the day, so, you know, it's like when you're not home and you see something out the ordinary, you like, what is that, whatever, whatever, so anyway, oh, that car right there, that's Miss Pena's car, that's Miss Pena's car, her daddy's driving it right now because she don't have her license, but she drove it yesterday, uh-huh, so anyway, um, I was drinking this. I'm a little over halfway through it, trying to keep my stomach subtle, because I really need, like, um, a ginger ale or something, but whatever. Mm. Lord help. Mm-mm-mm. mm mm, -mm. mm, -mm, -mm. I'm about to go and lay down. I was about to say, what is that sparkling up on my dashboard? It's my glasses. Um... And yes, I got on my Sunday clothes. <laughs> my dress I wore to church. I sure did put it on because I knew I I knew without a shadow of doubt I didn't feel good. I wasn't gonna be there all day. So I did go in. I checked in on my subs. Got the attendance out. And then I'm like, yep, I'm out. I didn't even put myself on the attendance paper. I will when I go back. Cause then I'll update my time. But anyway, all right, I'm going to bed. So I um I will text or text you. I will reconvene when I get ready to head back to work. Hey everybody, I'm back. Whew, as you see, I got on a different jacket. Y'all, it is my car is telling me 51 degrees outside. I got my little coat because my stomach is not so great. I didn't take my medicine again. I'll take it um, when I come back. I asked my husband. Excuse me. I had to. I had to take that sweet because my stomach is bothering me. Excuse me. But I asked my husband. I said, "Did you hear my phone buzzing while I was asleep?" He was like, yeah. He said, your phone was going nuts. It was going bananas. I said, that was work. He said, were they contacting you? I said, no, we're part of a group chat. It's like 20 of us in this group chat. So um, some things go in the chat that's not on the walkie. And it's easier to go through the chat than be sitting here trying to email. And uh, anyway, yeah, <laughs> some stuff going down at the school today I'm like oh let me go ahead and get back to school and you know we are already short staff in the main office and I hated to tell my co-worker I had to go home but y'all I was sick like and I'm glad I, I mean I was sick like it was whatever it, it, it was ooh, yeah it is well, now I'm saying 49, but nonetheless, it's 50 degrees out here. I know that lady from somewhere. I can't remember where. Might be the other job. But anyway, oh, so I'm on my way back. I was going to talk to y'all about something. I can't remember what it was. Mm, I was going to tell y'all about something else. I'm on my way. 
I was go going to go back at 2.30, but it's 2.10 right now. I got up because my alarm was set for 2 o'clock, and I ended up getting up at 1.45 because it was like I was not getting no rest. I mean, none at all. And, of course, you know, anybody can say, well, you should just turn your phone off. Negative. I have a minor. So, <laughs> You know, I have kids, so if I need to be accessible for my kids, you know, and only one of them out of the two knew I was homesick. Well, if the eldest one's following my Instagram, she might know, but I didn't post it on Facebook or nothing, because everybody know. But anyway, um, and plus, I didn't want to text her, and she, she'd be all, Mom, Mom, and no, I, I, no, just chill. I'm good, you know, but the youngest one, she was not. She was like, she might have told her sister. Now I think about it. Now that I think about it, she might have told her sister. Because they, you know, communicate without me, without my knowledge. Because just like how I do with my sister. But anyway, I know what I was going to say. So, I got contacted by, I, I've always told you guys about um, my childhood friend. I say the friend loosely because, you know, we haven't been tight since Miss Peanut was probably about good three. But anyway, I got a text message from her yesterday saying that she wants me to plan a girl's getaway for her and I. And she understands that I may have to bring my daughter. Um, she's fine with that. But then she also said, you know, I just want to prepare you that I have this going on, that going on, you know, bad knees, bad back, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, so why would I prepare to go in? I already got my own health issues. What are we going to be? Two disabled just trying to kick it somewhere? Baby. That's the first thing I thought. But then the other thing I was thinking, like, okay, I am... I'm just hold on a minute. Okay. Because, you know, like I said, I ain't been there. I was looking to see somebody in my spot because you know it does say reserved for the secretary. Y'all don't believe me? Check it out. It's a little bit signed, but it says it. So anyway, I was like, why you know we haven't we haven't even had dinner, lunch, kumbaya, nothing. Why would I schedule a out of town trip like money money let's go out to eat first let's you know let's let's look really see if if we really want to be you know friends and and you know child i got this headband on and it's sliding up and down my daggone head oh anyway i'm gonna do my hair tonight i'm gonna wash it or something wash it blow dry or something but anyway oh what's this Clark. Oh, I thought they were playing music. Anyway, let me go to work and I will pick you guys back up when I get off. Hey, y'all, I'm back. Oh, my goodness. Getting my child to work with two minutes to spare. So, here I'm thinking I could just go to work, you know, do me a quick little hour and be straight. No, baby. When I tell you I was sitting there like, oh, my gosh, just it was something. Then right at the dismissal time, I had some kids. Well, we have a rule. You are not supposed to get DoorDash or whatever. Oh, she got it. Kids aren't allowed to DoorDash or Uber Eats, none of that food stuff there. But parents, Chad, these parents. So the food comes in and they give them some nickname. Well, okay, I don't know these kids from Adam. I ain't birthed now, now one. Ain't been around them too long. Not really trying to learn their names. How about that? Because the ones that I know the names to, that must mean they done did something. Child, how about this little female come up in there and she just already just wah, 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 wah at the mouth. I'm like, uh, no. So I call for the dean. He don't respond. I'm like, and I don't care. We could talk about it at, at, at our meeting tomorrow. Because I'm like, no. Y'all need to get it together. I was gone not even a full day. And they showed their behinds. I'm talking about staff. And they know I run a tight ship. Because my boss run a tight ship. But they was up here cutting up. I don't know. I guess something happened at the school. Some kind of fight. Some kind of altercation. I don't know. 
All I know is when I was at home trying to sleep, yo, my phone would not stop buzzing. I'm like, what the heck? I got seven messages in my phone right now. Right now. So anyway, back to that situation. So then a little boy, he gonna go and tell security that it's his food. So he's like, oh, we'll go in there and get it. Luckily, the little girl that was up in there running her mouth knew that it wasn't his and so she was like no you're you know you're lying and this and that i'm like wait a minute you're gonna need to move around talking about oh well so-and-so said i could get in da, da, da. okay but you're being deceitful this is not your so i'm calling for the dean call i don't call the front desk like where is this dean finally i call his cell phone like hey you know he done oh i'm on my way and this particular dean y'all lord help me jesus so, I'm like, I need you at the main office. I said, I got kids up in here hooping and hollering, bothering me. I got, you know, guests up in here. I'm trying to do stuff with my teachers and stuff. I ain't got time for this. And you're going to send somebody who's not even the owner of the food to come and get it? You need to, you need to verify right now. So, he verified that the girl could get it because apparently she's best friends with the boy. That don't even make no daggone sense to me. And I was like, and what's her name? You know what I mean? Because if two other boys came here and they trying to like, you know, stand over because they these kids is tall. You know, I, I'm not I'm not short. I'm not short, but I'm not tall either. Okay? I'm five five, I'm average. Baby, these boys come towering over me, thinking they was going stronger, I'm like they were gonna get past me to get it. Try me. Try me. I don't feel good either. Oh, it'll be on and popping. They pull that mess. See, they try to pull that mess because they know the principals be busy and all this stuff. No, you're not going to be coming up here hooping and hollering. No, uh-uh. I know they was like, ooh, it's Sharon back in the building. You daggone straight. Up here cutting up. Right. Oh, my goodness. Just ridiculous, y'all. I'm like, really? I can't have an easy afternoon? And one of my subs said, oh, you stayed all day? I said, no, actually, I went home. I said, but I came back about 45 minutes ago. He said, oh, you feel any better? I said, not really. I said, not really at all. And I mean, I literally, I had someone in the building. I knew, didn't know who this person was. And this man talking to me. And I'm like, oh, my God. Mind you, these kids are cutting up. Like, cutting up. My wild is, ugh. I don't do wild. I don't do wild. I don't. So don't send them kids in there acting a fool. Uh-oh. Don't send these kids in here acting a fool if you know you're not going to do your job. You know, so I had to send out an email. Because I'm like, listen. And I threw them all on the bus. I sure did. I don't care. I'm like, no. Because this don't make no sense. You know, Miss Girl, she run around like she would. I don't care who you are. You were disrespectful. Period. So ain't nobody in here bothering you and that. Uh, yeah, you are. I'm working. Hello. Now, I don't like being the gatekeeper of this daggone food stuff because it's ridiculous. Oh, my God. I'm going to try to go home and cook real fast because if I cook now, maybe I can lay down for an hour, maybe. Maybe. My co-worker who has been in Africa for the last six weeks she is back she finally landed thank god so hopefully she'll be there tomorrow i'm hoping she'll be there tomorrow because man but then we gotta do a retrain all over again not so much training of the work because she should know her work but as far as like having the kids hanging out and all that stuff mm -mm. we're not doing none of that we're not doing none of that chaotic mess chaotic mess I mean whoo like I feel like I got a fever I'm just like oh my goodness mm -mm -mm. I'm gonna take me some Tylenol I'll get to the house boss man leave mm -hmm. I told him to go outside get some sun he didn't well now it's cloudy y'all saw the sun when I was driving to work Literally, I mean, Miss Pena had two minutes because I was like, oh, I'm going to get this email done. I'm going to get this email done. Oh, we got some new little neighbors next door, y'all. Mm -mm. And they're men. 
it seemed to be to themselves. We'll see. Right now, I can't gauge it because, you know, it's not, um, what am I thinking? It's not nice. Well, I mean, it's nice outside, but it's not like, you know, summertime and stuff like that. But we'll see how they do. Is that something in my backyard? Child, I'm about to go and look and see what that is. See, I don't go in the back too often. I always go through the front. But anyway, but babies, boss lady is not feeling the greatest. I pray by the time you see this video, I am doing 100% better. But right now, oh, Jesus. I even got a lightweight jacket. I'm still like, ugh. But, um, yeah, I'm about to go in here, cook. Make sure dinner is done, and then I'm going to lay myself back down. So, thanks for watching. Listen to my work rant, and I'll see y'all in a video. Bye, guys.